that Kalila and I are no longer together. Um, it's been o not over. It's not over. I mean, in the sense that, you know, we, I want to say that Kalila is the love of my life, my best friend. Um, if, if there was a book about my life, she would be, if there was 10 chapters, she'd be four of them at least, five of them. Give me half. I'll give you half a book. Yeah, for half a book. Um, she changed my life in so many different ways. She reinvented who I was, and um, yeah. Um, and the reason why we're announcing that is because um, there are things that people believe online that aren't true, and I want to address those things because um, it's causing a lot of pain in our house. Um, and I'm going to start with my part in it. And my part is this. You know, years ago, Kalila um, had this heart condition. And it started in the Philippines. And she, we were in the Philippines, and I had to carry her into a taxi. And we thought she was going to die. And, um, you know, after that, you know, at home, we just would have the ambulance at our house two or three times a week. We'd always constantly go to the hospital at 5 in the morning. Um, and at that point in my relationship with her, I changed a bit and it became, um, I was just worried about her keeping her alive. And I think that it shifted the relationship, you know what I mean? Um, you know, so a lot of the sexual stuff that I felt before that had diminished and it became more of a, um, caretaker, not caretaker, I guess that's a terrible word to use, but like, I was extremely worried about her. And when you're in that kind of situation, you know, um, a lot of that energy and it, it changes the relationship at least you know and then um i began to um fantasize about other w women i would watch porn every single night and you know and this is over years of this and she i just distinctly remember there were moments where we would sit down and she would be crying going what happened with us um uh, there's no intimacy um i feel like you don't know me anymore i want you to get to know me again and a lot of times I would do false promises, like, trust me, I'm just going through a phase or I'm working on it or whatever. And I would, um, you know, basically shrug it off and tell her that I was going to deal with it in the future or whatever it might be. But this is years of this. I mean, in fact, there were times where she would plan vacations so that she could rekindle some of the magic that we had lost. You know, um, one time we were in Hawaii to do that. It was the first time I went to Hawaii that wasn't a work related thing. And um, I think we, we tried, you know, um, and it, it looked optimistic maybe sometimes, but um, I don't know, you know, I, I have to say that, you know, a lot of it was my fault, you know, um, and, you know, I was in therapy talking about it. We did couples therapy and stuff. And um, so it eventually got to the point where obviously people have needs, you know, and she had needs and we didn't know what to do because of many things. Number one, like I said, you know, we literally are best friends. We spend 24 hours a day together. We created Tiger Belly together. We have other things that we want to do. Um, we have seven animals. We live together. Uh, her niece lives with us. We're a family and there's a, you know, a warmth in the house and um, it feels like a family, like I said, but, um, but it got to the point where, you know, it's like, what else, if I'm not going to change and I'm not, you know, and I, trust me, I tried. Um, so it got to the point where I was like, you know, we threw out suggestions and things that, um, would, you know, I was mindful about how Kalila can maybe, you know, um, get her needs fulfilled. Right. And I threw out suggestions, maybe you see somebody else, you know what I mean? And, you know, I said it a couple of times. Um, I also want to address something that happened with, um, my brother. And this is a very sensitive thing for me. Um, you know, anyone listening to Tiger Belly and are familiar with um, our podcast knows the things that have been going on. You know what I mean? It's been a nightmare, you know. Um, so essentially, my brother said some things to a random person um, that were not true. Um, he has, to me personally, apologized, you know what I mean, for me, you know what I mean? Um, and I think he knows his mistake, but I don't know fully, you know what I mean, how he feels. But um, essentially, you know, he said things like, 
you know, Kalila was a gold digger. Um, I have to say that to people listening, um, that, you know, when I met Kalila, I had no money. You know, I was making, I can tell you what I was making on the road. I had no other prospects of cash. The only amount of money I was making is through doing a B room sometimes and getting not a door deal, but getting like, you know, um, a guarantee, you know, so it's not, it's not, I mean, compared to, to all my peers and stuff really. And when I met her, you know, she kind of reinvented my thing. I made my money with her. She has her own money, right? The, all the things that I have in my life, right, is a direct result of meeting her and her, her and I building a business together. Um, other things have grown out of that. Like, you know, my, it rekindled my acting career. Um, you know, I've, I've done well when it comes to selling things and whatnot. It's been very good. But, um, you know, without her, I don't know where I'd be, you know. Um, so him saying that she's a gold digger is not true. She's not. She's never asked for anything. Um, and she, he um, said um, things like he's, she's keeping, you know what I mean, me from other people or right or something like that or, you know, and, um, you know, during the pandemic, we didn't see anybody, you know, you know, I'm, I'm tired of people thinking that I don't make my own decisions, you know, everything that I do, I make my own decisions. I'm Bobby Lee. I do what I want. Right. And during the pandemic, I was super fucking scared. I didn't know anything about this virus. I didn't leave the house for a year and a half. I didn't even go to the grocery store for a year and a half, right? And 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 I didn't see my brother. You know what I mean? I didn't see my mom, right? I didn't see anybody, right? Um, and you know, I think that my, my brother thought that that was you know what I mean me disappearing. Or, you know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Something was going on. You know what I mean? That was like you know um. I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking, but um, and um. Yeah, with all that stuff that he said, I don't, I don't know if you got even if people even listening knows, but you know, he had texted some random person his gripes that were absolutely unfounded and not true, and people have taken that and ran with it online, and it's really hurtful to Kalila, it's hurtful to me, um, and I just wanted to address it. So you know, just and uh, uh, another thing that I want to add is, you know, I was blatantly flirting with other people and there was things that she caught me in that were like you know what i mean kind of um you know it, it took her aback that i did some lying you know what i mean and there were things that you know none of this was like an anomaly or is that the right word or you know what i mean out of nowhere you know what i mean it's a reaction right to my behavior um i've done a lot of growth in the last six months and and changes um i put some hard boundaries down and um i don't really give a shit to be honest with you what people think. Um, I, I don't give a fuck. Um, and the people that are, that are saying shit about me in, in this, fuck, go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you don't know my, this is my personal life and this is our life. And it's like, you know, they're being, being very mean toward Kalila and I've had enough of it. You know, um, it's unfounded, not true. Um, and, um, she's a good girl and I love her very much. And, um, I wish people would stop, you know, I really do. Um, so that's pretty much everything in a nutshell for me. I um, like, I mean, I love Kalila. I love my brother as well. You know, um, he hurt me. He hurt me. It was painful. Um, that being said, um, I know through time things will heal, and I. But here's the good news: I, I'm. We're not stopping Tiger Belly. We're not. Um, we're good. We're good. We're not stopping. Um, I'm never going to see anybody else in my life. Yeah, I just know. I just. I have no interest. Well, you're a priest. I, don't know. I have no interest. I really have no interest. You know what I mean? We just need I'm, time to heal. You don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's how I feel. You know what I mean? I'm not compromising. You know what I mean? I'm not going to watch your movies. You know, I'm just telling the future. If there was a future, I'm not going to go to your restaurant. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm okay. not going to listen. I don't. You know what I mean? I'm going to play 20 hours of video games if I want to. And whatnot, and so that's that. But if you have a real interest, in I have no interest. In, I have no interest in any of that. No, I'm just telling any girl. I'm not listening. I will not listen. I will not cuddle. <laughs> I will not cuddle. I will not listen, and I don't give a fuck. All right, I'm not doing any of it. I, it's it's not who I am. So that's that. It's it, this has nothing to do with, you know, what I mean anybody else or my desires or whatever. It has to do with preserving Tiger Belly. Kalila and I work we're great together. We have great ideas. We're producing another thing together. We went, we're going to do a book, you know what I mean? And, you know, um, I'm super excited about the future of my business here. 
Um, we have a great family. Um, and uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to say.